everyone and welcome back to Art with Miss Choate. If you're new to my channel, what we do is we use things around the house to make art. It's pretty simple. I don't want you to have to go out and get anything special. If anything, maybe start collecting some recycling. That way when I ask you for cardboard, you have it on hand. But other than that, you use what you have in the house. So today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a color viewer. And what I mean by this, some of my upper grade kids might have heard me say a viewfinder before. It's where you take a piece of paper and you cut a hole in the middle and then you look through it and you view the world through that outlet. Now instead of like you can use a camera lens, things like that to view the world, we're going to be creating our own lens. And we're going to be putting colors around that lens so when we move around our house or our yard or our anywhere, we can view those colors and kind of compare to our marker colors, our crayon colors, our paint colors. What does it, what does it look similar to? How can we make up those colors that we're seeing in real life? So it's kind of be a fun little activity. You're going to be moving around. We're going to make our viewfinder. And then I want you to go explore your house. And you can either take pictures of what you find. You could just journal what you find. Or you could just remember it in your mind's eye whatever works for you, but we're gonna have a little fun. We're gonna get moving once we make our finder. So let's go get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark a rectangle. This rectangle will be cut out, but we don't have to cut it out until we make our colors. So I'm just gonna go around and make a rectangle. I'm making it about an inch by an inch because that's where we're gonna color. All this area will be colored. And I can mark it with a ruler or I can freehand it because these lines don't have to be perfect. So now I know these are where I'm gonna cut out. This here will be cut out. And I'm gonna mark some squares. I'm gonna do each square a different color. You can do as many or as few squares as you want. But do you know that I expect all the squares to be filled in? And every square I want to be a different color. So this is where we're going to go ahead and start to you know, blend colors, mix colors, like I've done in some past videos. And they don't have to be perfect, like that's a little bit big, but that's okay. So there we go. I have some squares around and we can use a bunch of different media. We can use markers, we can use colored pencils. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to fill in our boxes. Do so neatly. Don't scribble. We want it to be a very consistent color. I'm going to do some marker. I'm going to do some paint. I'm going to do crayons and color pencils. I'm going to do a lot of media on this one viewfinder before we go on our scavenger hunt. Because I think it's interesting to compare what these colors look like in different media. And this is a nice little study to do. It's a nice little way to calm down if you've been having a bad day. Just study the world around you. And this is something you can pick up later. You don't just have to do it all in one sitting. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start to mix some of my colors. So I'm going to put yellow here, but I'm going to put my red on top. And you can even take notes on what you're doing. So if you want to go do a painting or a drawing later, you can know what happens when you put your red marker on top of yellow marker. It's going to make an orange. Now you can see the difference between that red and that red. It's not quite orange, but it's definitely not the same as when it was just red by itself. So that's nice to know. And you can put them in order, but I like having fun with it and kind of mixing it up. So maybe I'll do yellow and put my blue on top of it. 
Now I like to do my yellow first and then put blue because if I did blue and then I put my yellow, then I'd have blue on my marker. So I like to do my lighter colors and then put my darker colors. That way I don't get my markers dirty. Oh yeah, you can really tell that this looks green. Yeah, I like how that color looks. So that one comes out. So let's do our last one, the red first and then the blue on top. And I like to do my box first and then I can go in with straight lines. And you see how I do nice, thick, straight lines. Taking my time, I'm not rushing. And now I'll do the blue on top. And look at that difference compared to that blue. You're definitely getting a purple. Beautiful. So now I'm done playing with my markers. I think I'm gonna move on to a different medium. So now I'm gonna move on to some color pencils and I'm really gonna have fun with the colors. I'm really gonna see what I get I'm gonna blend a bunch of colors on top of each other. I'm gonna do two greens. Remember, you want the whole box to be the same color, unless you wanna divide it up into two. That's up to you, I suppose. And remember, you can do this with any of your mediums. That's why I'm switching it up. I'm also gonna do crayons and paint. But if you have oil, pastels, anything you have, go ahead and feel free to use. Now I'm going to try some paint. And the last thing is crayon. I'm going to go ahead and fill up my last three boxes with different shades of crayon. The last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut out this rectangle. Now an easy way to do that is you can give a little bit of a fold along that edge. I wanna save this middle part because I can do a drawing on there. And I can go ahead and poke a hole right there. And now I can go ahead and cut that out.
there we go save this for later and here is my color viewfinder now I can go take this anywhere outside and try to see which colors I see represented around my house all right so we have our viewfinder let's go around our house and we can see if we can find any of these colors on our house so let's see I don't see any brown colors actually I realized I didn't do brown but look at this color green that's on the glass it's pretty close to that so let's see where else we can go in our house and find some of these colors all right so I'm kind of just looking around seeing I'm seeing some of these greens in the plants and I'm seeing some of these yellows in the painting let's see about this fabric oh I see this pink color in there Let's see what else we can find.